Nation has so much to offer, a varied history, from showbiz to heartbreak, and a very sorrowful past. From the outside, you may just walk on by without a second thought, but through the doors that lies a multitude of stories. It is hardly surprising that some energies have been left behind. Paranormal occurrences are regularly reported, including various ghostly sightings. There is also a strong negative energy which lurks in the darkness. This would be a challenge for the team, but I think we are up to it. My location is a community centre who recently have experienced some rather unusual and unexplained occurrences. Bang noises have been heard coming from the main hall, which upon investigation have been found to be empty, with no one around to have made them. The sounds of childlike footsteps have been heard running up and down the stairs. Doors reportedly open after being secured shut, and on more than one occasion, the public toilet has flooded due to taps being turned on, seemingly by themselves. I think this would make an interesting location for the team to visit. I have been given special approval to bring forward an amazing location to investigate. Lying empty for many years, local residents have reported hearing the sounds of organ music and monk-like chanting from behind sealed walls. There have been reports of workers downing tools, fleeing the sight in fear of what they have encountered. Dark shadowy figures have been witnessed and the sound of footsteps, voices and banging from empty rooms have been heard. There is no electricity on site, and the pure size of this location alone will be a test for the team, but I think it all adds to the charm. Think of the ultimate haunted location. Picture somewhere large, dark, and derelict. Lost in time, boarded up, and forgotten. Until now. I have the ultimate pleasure of bringing this venue forward. With not just one, but numerous buildings to investigate. We have been trusted by a very special lady who, along with her team, have breathed life back into this fabulous location. We are very privileged and I am so excited to be able to investigate these fantastic buildings. Welcome to the nunnery. My name's Mark Webb and I'm caretaker for this huge, wonderful building. My partner, Natalie, runs spectacular ghost hunting events and this venue is exclusive to her and her company. We're, we're responsible for all the maintenance in the building, which is where I come in. We've come into the building, we've had to secure this. It's been abandoned for eight years, I believe it is. We've come in, we've had to maintain bits that intruders have broken, We've completely secured the place now. CCTV, shutters on the windows, there's, there's no way in. We normally have dogs patrolling the building, um, but obviously as we're filming in here tonight, we've, uh, they're at home in the kennels. So we're currently on the site of an old nunnery, an old convent. Uh, we have a chapel and three buildings that were used for um, residents, for all the nuns and obviously their day-to-day -day needs. It dates back to 1879, where um, there was one house built, then the chapel, then they've added the other two houses on over time. Um, but yeah, the whole site dates back to 1879. 
We're currently sat in what we believe was the dining room inside the Harvest House. Um, this would have been where all the nuns would have come and had their breakfast, lunch and evening meals. Um, the accommodation block above us, there's two floors full of bedrooms um, and this is just one of the three houses that are on site. This location is so easy to get lost in. Um, there is a maze of um, basements underneath the, the whole building um, and everywhere you turn looks exactly the same. So it's so easy to get lost in here. So in terms of paranormal activity, um, as I've said, I'm, I do the maintenance here. So I've been here alone many, many, many times. I've heard monks chanting in the building. Um, I've heard um, an organ playing. They're, when you see in the chapel, you'll see there isn't even an organ here anymore. Um, I've spoken to a few of the locals uh, while I was doing some maintenance on the, the back wall, and they've told me how they've heard organs playing as they've walked past. Uh, they've told me about builders that were in here five years ago, I think he said, um, that they ran out tools were being moved, they couldn't continue on because everything kept getting moved and they heard bits and pieces. So with the monks chanting, uh, this was a nunnery. I didn't think there would have been monks here. Uh, priests and, and, and nuns, yes. Monks, no. But from what I've been told from historians, there would have been monks here at some time. So other members of the team, while they've been working in here, tidying, mopping, whatever they're doing, uh, they've experienced mumblings, conversations, they've seen shadows, and they've heard loud bangs. Okay, welcome to this fascinating venue. Um, those of you watching at home may have noticed there are a couple of guests with us today. Uh, we have the lovely Kev Lynn. Good evening. The equally lovely Michael David Roberts. Hello. And the equally, equally lovely Mark Webb. Good evening. Now, this is, as I say, a fascinating venue, but whose venue is it? It's Sarah that's brought this venue, so please tell us a little bit more about it. Well, we're quite lucky because we've got Mark here this evening and Mark's very kindly filled us in on a lot of it. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that I'm going to say is, wow, what a building, that's what awesome. a location, what do we all think? Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, complete, Unbelievable. a complete rabbit warrant, so we're probably going to get <laughs> lost. There's no electricity, and if you hear that beeping, it's the fire alarm, so just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> I think certainly we are going to get lost, and what I will say is that we've probably got lost a few times already. Everywhere looks the same, yeah. and there's so many staircases in here, and a huge basement, which of course, as paranormal investigators, we all like a basement, don't we? That was absolutely freaky, because when we walked around with Mark earlier, we were more even more was getting lost which is a bit <laughs> concerning so but yeah i mean kev michael what do you think kev well i think sarah summed it up very well with the word wow and uh what a fantastic location and so diverse i mean everybody loves a church everyone loves a basement and you've got all the rooms around as well very atmospheric wonderful venue cool michael your first time here obviously both of you yeah. I, I do you know what the minute i walked in you could feel something you know, sometimes a building talks to you, doesn't mm. it? And the minute you walk in, you do feel something. So I'll be very excited to know what that something is. Mm. Well, you might find out later. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to ask Mark as well, because Mark, obviously, you maintain this building. So you spend a, a lot of time here on your own. And I know, because we, we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> Too long. Don't say how long because it'll age us. <laughs> Mark is not really phased by anything, are you? So, but you did tell me earlier on this evening that you've never actually investigated here, even though no. you've worked here quite no, a lot. No, 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 no. I've never spent the evening in here. So, so how do you it's feel? A, it's a first for me as well. Yeah. How do you feel about sort of doing the investigation side of things? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it actually because I, obviously there's been a lot of investigations done in here, and I've heard back feedback from everybody else of what's got, what they've seen, what they've experienced. So I'm interested to see if I can get some of that. They, they may want to come out for me because they see me around here and maintaining their building. So that's a good bit of that. Yeah, yeah, good point. Point. yeah, I just want to say an extra special thanks to Nat for allowing us in here. I feel very privileged. Um, she's not particularly keen on being in front of the camera, so she's kind of left us to it. But yeah, she runs the events here, the paranormal events, it's public events. So if ever anybody wants to come, then we can put the links on our Facebook, social groups, etc. for you to join in those events. So I think without further ado, it's time that we turn out the lights.
Throughout this investigation, Jane will be fitted with a body cam positioned on the back of her jacket. This gives us a completely different viewpoint and enables us to capture anything strange that might be occurring behind Jane as she investigates the building. Right, okay, so myself, Mark and Ben, we're going to go through the door to the left and we're going up into the far part, which is called... Harvest House. Harvest House, okay. Kev and Phil, hiding at the back here, are going to stay here in the chapel. Jane, Dale and Michael, have you guys decided where you're going to go yet? The car park. <laughs> oh. No running now, you're in. We're going to go out here right and up the stairs. Okay, perfect. So can we have a time check, please? Time is 9.15. 10 o'clock. So you're back here at 10, yeah? Okay. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Okay, this is Kev and myself. Mm -hmm. At the nunnery we are in the chapel area and uh, we are going to see if there is anything here we ask him out and ask him a few questions hopefully we shall get some kind of response um, are we going upstairs or down to the basement i think start at the top and then work our way down yeah that sounds like a sensible idea let's go for it there we go hi uh, <laughs> pleasure to meet you uh, so with myself we have Jane, Hello. and our special guest, Michael. Hi. And um, oh, what a beautiful evening it is. Ben's leading the way. Are we going upstairs for a second? Yeah, shall we? Sure. I'm letting you lead the way. Have you? What did you hear? Well, this is something like a rat, so... Do you get rats in here, Matt? Not seen any. Or a bat lately, actually. Could be a bat. It was a high pitch little... <laughs> we do have bats. Not seen rats. Yeah, there's a bat. <laughs> uh, see, that's Ben's supersonic hearing. Yeah, there is a bat. There's two bats. Oh my gosh, look at them. So if someone touches your hair. What room do you want to go in? Whatever. We could always just stay in the corridor. I'm really warm. Is anybody else really, really warm? warm in here. Hold on, he's going to come out in a sec. He's thinking about it, but I'm coming out. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> oh. oh God! <laughs> he flew right past the camera. Mm. We just had the keys and I didn't, there was nothing that night. But go upstairs, completely different atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. in the king's room. The king's room, yeah. Because we're talking about some of the cards. Yeah, but it's the obvious way, isn't it? Always the way. Hello? Is there someone in here with us? Okay, we've moved positions slightly. Can you give us an indication that you're here, please? Can you make a sound for us? Can you speak to us? My name's Phil. And this is Kevin, or Kev. And Dee Dee, hello. Hello, lovely spirits. It would mean so much to us if you would make, make yourself known to us in some way. So many ways you can do that. Just 
So, would these, these rooms, Mark, would these just been like accommodation rooms? As, as far as we're aware, yeah, this was all used as accommodation. This is down ground floor of here is where we think the dining room was. Right. So, we think this was all just nuns' bedrooms. And approximately how many nuns would there have been in here? <clears throat> Now I have heard 250. Wow. Um, Is that just in this house or across the entire yeah, place? Across that, in the house, that's what I've heard, but I don't know how accurate that is. When you think over the three houses, how many rooms there are. <laughs> when it's quiet, it's really, it mm. feels really muffled, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, if there are any spirits here, in the or in the vicinity, can you come towards us? Can you let yourself be known? Can you come towards us? Can you let yourself be known to us? Come and say hello. Singing. Did you just hear singing? Singing. You heard singing? Yeah. Come on, you know you want to. Big sound for us, maybe. <laughs> Who's that? You see him? <laughs> Look at the screen. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. It was about. <laughs> you need a meal, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want to tap on the floor or the wall, you can tap once for yes, twice for no, and we will be able to understand you. If that was you, could you just tap once on the floor, please? What's happened to my walls now? Yeah, like it looks murky. Mold. How come it's so much worse on this floor, Robert? I don't know. You would think above would be worse, but. Oh gosh, it's really dark down here. Do you know what I feel? It feels different down here. I don't know if anybody else feels it. It definitely feels colder. Maybe it is because it's colder. It's just... Is there anybody down here with us? Uh, is there anybody here on this uh, sec the first floor? Is anyone here? Can you see us walking through the hallways? Did you used to live in one of these rooms? Can you try and speak to us and use your voice?
Maybe you can tap on something. What was that? Tap. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's tap. What was that? Wasn't you? Yeah, no, I heard it. I was like right where you are. I thought it came from up there. If that was you, can you do it again, but more definite? Is there anyone here with us? Please give us an indication. Are there any nuns here? Any sisters? Are they called sisters? Yeah, I don't think so. Any sisters here with us? If you are, please give us a sign that you're here. Would this be your route to chapel of an evening or of a morning? I appreciate you. you prayed numerous times during the day. So would this, would this be the route you took from your dormitories or maybe where you were working? Come and pray. I don't know if it's me, but I just don't like looking at that door. <laughs> Tell you what, don't swap places. No. <laughs> no, so I can look at the door as well. Okay. Yeah, it's simple. Go back to the door. Yeah, bigger idea. The camera. Great. Move this way a bit. Yeah, that's it. You might make a more definite bang for us. Jesus! <laughs> I don't know which scared most the bat on was then. Was that what's this? Oh! <laughs> That was a loud bang. <laughs> Ooh. Was that, was that like a sugar or a bang? That was a loud bang. If you're here, can you make a noise? If that was you that tapped, could you please do that again for us? Just saw a shadow then, but I think that might have been a bat. Did you not hear the, the footsteps? I just heard something. I was just literally about to say, right, can you do, hear? Do it. I didn't hear that, I was busy watching what I thought was a bat. <laughs> if you're here, can you make a noise? If that was you that tapped, could you please do that again for us? Just saw a shadow then, but I think that might have been a bat. Did you not hear the, the footsteps? I just heard something, I was just literally about to say. Right, do, do. If that was you, can you come a little closer?
Can you do that again for us? You were in this building, weren't you? Can you make that noise again? Can you make that banging noise? What the f was that? What? I'm hoping it was a bat. What? There's a black figure just going in front of the camera in the doorway. Seriously? It, it wasn't big, it wasn't like a human figure. I presume it was a bat. <laughs> Do something else instead. <laughs> Is that the one from the chapel again? Yeah, the brute was right there. What's that? Yeah, the brute was right there. What's that? What? That was a big bang, but in the distance somewhere. Right, okay, it has come to the point in the evening where we are going to do the spirit dive. So I've got the pieces of paper in my hand here. I'm going to put them on the table and I want you each to pick one. Whoever gets the piece of paper that says short on it, you're going to be the one who sits with the spirit dice on your own. So, I'll put them out. <coughs> and if you each want to pick up. Okay, everybody open. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'm in the one place that I'm going to be sat on my own and I've gone and got the blooming. Oh, this is the first time I've done this. Sell us where you keep wine. Yes. You keep wine on there if you want. No, because then it's called a fing cellar, not basement. Alright. <laughs> Are you going to be wandering off? I might do at some point. Do you have a torch? No. Then you won't be. Why not? Oops, okay. <laughs> I don't have a torch, so I will be. Okay. Dale? And I don't have a torch, so I'll be staying here with you, Phil. Um. What a place this is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you can just stay here by yourself. <laughs> nah, give me the torch back. How, how do you feel towards the building now? It's definitely got a different feeling to it when it's pitch black in here. Uh huh. Um, but I still feel alright to be fair, but I have to, if. If anything does go on, I have to put all that to the back of my mind because I'm in here regularly, so I can't can't exactly go and tell Nat I'm not coming back, can I? Like, no. I'm not going back to your haunted building, you can forget it. <laughs> Why is it when you're on your own you always feel like something's behind you? I don't like how long it's taking for them to radio me because that means they're getting further away. Ira, we're in the basement. Okay. Okay, so here I am. Um, I've got the short straw. I'm alone in the chapel with the dice. 
So I'm going to ask some questions and see if we get any words spelled out. I have to say that I don't feel particularly comfortable right now, but that's probably just because I'm on my own. And it's such a big, massive room, it's very echoey, as you can hear. So my first question, is there anybody here with me? So I've got the word no, <laughs> which would indicate if there is somebody here with me, they've just said no, so that's a bit of a daft question, really. Can you tell me your name? I've got a Zoe. Oops. So I'd say this was a kitchen of some sort. Mm. You've got a tap here, which would have been a sink. Is there anybody still living here? Can you let us know? Can you make a noise? Can you try and speak to us or walk towards us? Okay, we'll try again. Can you tell me how many people are in this room, including myself?
Și pun... Ce-i am dat? Să-i mă să... Uitam eu. Mă, mă, era fără... Evil Zombies pare Climbing on my face. Să văd de aură, ăla e la Zombies. Mă, cum nescă. Do you believe in God? Is there somebody in the room with me? Are you in the chapel? Whereabouts are you? Just spell out the word room. Are you at the top, the middle, or the bottom? Sorry to radio, is somebody walking round near me? We're wa walking round the house at the moment. Are you near to where I am and would I be able to hear you? I'm going to walk around again now. I don't think so. I don't. It sounded much louder. It like somebody was closer to me. Upstairs. Are you walking now? you walking round, can you give me a word that would make sense to me that it is you? Can somebody please come to me?
I said, are you in the room with me? Or, or, or where are you? And it's spelled out room. And then I said, are you in the top, middle, or the bottom? And it said top. Oh, wow. No, no. I swear to God, it did. It said room. It said room. Spelled room. It spelled room. And then it spelled out the word top when I asked, are you top, middle, or bottom? Wow. Top. So it said top. It said top. As in that top or? Well, that top up there. I don't, I don't know. I didn't get that far. But it's a top. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I could hear footsteps, like... It didn't sound like it was in the room, but it sounded like it was close. Mm. And I started getting more edgy, and you then... Know, I don't think it would have heard us. No. I said... If, did you no, I, I said, if, if that is you that's making the footsteps, can you spell a word that would make sense? And then I just heard the noises behind me. I thought, no, well, that's it. I've had enough. <laughs> well, when you asked us to come back, did you hear us coming back? Not until you were sort of right there. So you wouldn't have heard the footsteps then? You wouldn't have heard the footsteps? No, because we, we came towards you from further back. So... <clears throat> we were making our way towards the closest area. On the opposite side, you know. Okay. So we come from deeper in. Yeah. Right. So further in. into the house. Well, when you said, "Can you hear me?" And I, I was straining then, but before I, I could hear definite. Mm. That's why at radio, because normally I wouldn't have radioed. I would have sort of yeah. gone through it, but. I will sit here then. You can carry on doing that. We'll just sit out of the way. Do you like what's happening with the building? The fact that some people are back in and looking after it. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm just going to start looking then. And I can see it's spelled out the word Mark. Has it? Yeah. Hello everybody, here we are in the dark and spooky hallway on a bench. As you do. Mm. It's covered in spiders, but don't tell Michael. Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> do you know about spiders? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, if there are any spirits here with us this evening in the chapel, can you come and show yourself? Come toward us. Come and make yourself be known. Three. Um, I can't believe we're into visual three already. It seems to be going by really quickly. Oh. Did you start on this floor or did you go to the top? We've been right to the top and then worked our way down. Alright, we'll start. We'll do it the other way around then. Yeah, that then? Yeah, something. Yeah, that then? Yeah, something. What was that? Did you hear another footstep then? Yeah. I'm just changing in here. I've been in this room before. I don't feel like this. Can we hear you singing again or talking? <coughs> you don't have 
to be worried about us being here. Just here to observe you and see if we can see you still. See if we can see you still. Do you hear that? Where did it come from then? It looks like it's down here. It sounded like it came from below us, I thought. Below us? Mm. That smoke alarm beeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a massive building, but it doesn't matter where you are in it. You'll hear the smoke alarm beeping. So, these rooms used to be, I believe, where the nuns used to live. So, it is, wow, that is a nice shot. So, I'm going to just turn a nice shot off in a minute, just so I can show you outside. Oh, fantastic. The window's rather dirty, unfortunately. I don't want to get that noise then. What, what noise? Hi, female Outside. Oh, fantastic. The window's rather right there. What noise then? What, what noise? Hi, female ego. I went, ooh. Oh, I didn't hear that. Did you hear that, Mark? If that was you, thank you very much. Came from right where I was pointing the camera. Did anybody live in this room? Not once for yes or twice for no. Wow. That was good. Well, thank you. <laughs> that was very good. Tap on the door or something. So yeah. Definitely not my stomach. Somebody, <laughs> somebody lived in this room. Okay. I'm assuming a female. Me and Ben came up to bring Zoom up here, and it felt a bit weird then. Well, and the chaps came in, and it was like, what else? The thing wow, is, wow, did you hear that? Wow. What a massive bang. And the chaps came in and it was like, what else? The thing wow, is, wow, did you hear that? What a massive bang. I hope, that, I hope the camera got that because I spoke at like, the same time we were speaking. I don't think I heard if, if, I don't think I heard because she was speaking. It loud. How's your back? Oh yeah. <laughs> he is literally in your face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll have whoever is here. Did you work at the nunnery? Not once for yes or twice for no. Did you work here? Did you work here? Swearing? Yeah, stop swearing, Mrs. I've got ghost pumps now. Did you hear that noise, though? Yes, 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 I did. Can we hear you laugh? Can we hear you talking? Is there something above me? Because my hair, something keeps touching my hair. Yeah, it's a ceiling. No, it's something it keeps touching my hair. There's nothing above your head. Well, I did it about six times. And I don't know whether or not that's just because we feel like safety in numbers and stuff and maybe we feel a little bit more vulnerable, so it's like a psychological thing. But 
like you say, I don't, I don't feel as welcome to come up here. Like, it feels like I shouldn't be up here. Is that be up here? Is that what the hell was that? I don't know. It was below us. It was below us. Can you build up your energies to speak to us? To make a sound? I don't feel right in that room though. No. No, that room doesn't feel right. Oh. Hmm. What? What? Like something was like... Like... Tickling your face? No, I could feel something tap, okay. like tapping the... All right, on your coat? Yeah, and I was like... I knew nothing was there, but I could feel it and... Can you knock on something? Let us know that you're here. So, what a fantastic place. How could anybody not enjoy a night here? And it's been great having different guests with us. There's all sorts of bits and bats been happening. Um, I don't even know which areas I've been to, there's so many. You could carry on for forever investigating this place. It's been great. Well, it was quite interesting actually. For the first vigil, it was uh, myself, my mum and Mark. Uh, we were in, well, this area. We started upstairs and we came back down. It was a uh, a little bit freaky on the first floor because I think we, as you got further down the hallway it kind of felt like there was a bit of an atmosphere. It's been a wonderful evening and uh, lovely to spend time with the wonderful Are You Haunted team and thank you for that. And what a fantastic location. There's certainly some things to question. I think seems to have been having, a, having it around from shadows to possible mumbles and voices. So uh, yeah, plenty to question and hope you picked a lot of evidence up on the cameras and we'd love to come back someday. Thank you very much. Um, what a fabulous location. I have to say that I'm not disappointed one bit. It is just vast, honestly. I don't think we got the opportunity to cover the whole night um, in the whole building. So um, a few things that stand out for me, um, myself and Jane, we decided to go off on our own, thinking that two females together in a nunnery that we would get more of a welcoming feeling and it was quite the opposite for us really. I thought tonight went very very well um, like I said when, before we started the investigation uh, that this place had an energy and it did. Uh, every room you went into had something going on. Um, I felt like a lot of the spirits kind of kept to the side um, but then we started getting uh, sounds and things in the corner of our eyes uh, so it, it's turned out to be a really, really good investigation. So uh, massive thank you uh, to Sarah and Phil for inviting me and I've had a great night. Okay, end of vigil and end of the investigation at the nunnery and I've thoroughly enjoyed walking around this building with the guys this evening. Uh, it is vast as people have said before and it gave me goosebumps all over. So brilliant investigation, brilliant venue. All we need to do is check the audio and see what's on that. Well, what a venue. Um, well done, Sarah. Um, absolutely fantastic place. For myself, um, quite a quiet night. Um, not much happened to me, unfortunately. A couple of bits um, in the chapel. Um, a few knocks, bangs, a bit of shuffling. Uh, but that's really about it for me. But by what I've heard um, throughout the evening, it's been a good night. So, yeah, it's been good. It seems to be very subtle, everything that's gone on little noises. For me, personally, there's been nothing there that's said, wow. But the building's great and it's the first time I've spent a night in here, so I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with the place. It's just, I wanted a little bit more. Also, I felt like those things was touching me. I kept feeling something touching the back of my hair, just at the top, where the crown is. And I thought, it might just be like a cobra or something, so I kept like checking, no nothing there. And I also thought I saw a figure in the room with the graffiti on the wall as well. Yeah, it's been a good night. 
I definitely think something is going on here at the nunnery. It's an excellent place and I highly recommend it. location has so much to offer, a varied history from showbiz to heartbreak and a very sorrowful past. From the outside you may just walk on by without a second thought, but through the doors lies a multitude of stories. It is hardly surprising that some energies have been left behind. Paranormal occurrences are regularly reported including various ghostly sightings. There is also a strong negative energy which lurks in the darkness. This would be a challenge for the team. My location has a long history with parts of the building dating back to the 13th century. Now an empty ruined shell, this venue attracts many visitors throughout the day but takes on a very different feeling when the daylight fades. A figure has been reported to have been seen in one of the upper floor windows and distant sound of voices have been heard from the empty grounds. People have described catching shadowy movement out of the corner of their eye, but never seem to be able to explain the cause. This location has a long-standing reputation for being haunted. Being partly open to the elements will bring an extra challenge to this investigation, but I think it will make it all the more interesting. I have been contacted by social media by someone who believes their home is haunted. The family moved into the property and at first all was well. It was around six months in that they started to witness some strange activity. It began when they were woken by their youngest child who complained they couldn't sleep as his bed was shaking. They told me that they had heard a plate smash and had noises coming from the kitchen area when the room has been empty. Items seem to go missing, such as car keys, and then turn up in the most obvious of places. Could this family be experiencing poltergeist activity? I'd be interested to investigate this further.